Okay, this is big. This is big. Okay, party people in the house. You're about to witness something you've never witnessed before. Going back to my roots, Overwatch. They released an uh, anime short. And, uh, yeah. Let's check it out. Here we go. Aurora was the first of us to awaken. That's a robot. The Omnic. Can you imagine how she must have felt? Wow. Born in a laboratory. Surrounded by your creators. And then you learn the truth. That there is no other creature like you. Anywhere. That you are truly alone. Oh snap. The Omnics go bad. Dr. Liao Where's this going? that Aurora was sentient, that she was alive, thinking, choosing. Uh, it was hard to believe. I didn't want to believe it at first. She passed every single test we could come up with. Every one. And then the entire world found out. Dr. Liao committed career suicide by saying Aurora was alive. But her testimony was very compelling. This just in, a stunning ruling. The robot was declared a sentient being. Granted her freedom and released into the world. I was so relieved. Oh. Oh. She had a chance to actually live free. And she made the most of it. Aurora had been born into a world that she didn't understand. She wanted to see more of it. She went everywhere, learning, watching, seeing how humans treated each other, the good and the bad. Oh. But eventually, she had questions about the nature of her own existence. About her soul and she could only find those answers alone oh the temple oh well um while all that was happening not as much more scrutiny into omnica corpse operations it didn't go well for us overspending mismanagement fraud even in a couple of years, Omniko was done. All those automated production lines, completely abandoned and unmonitored for years. By humans, anyway. Breaking news out of Nigeria. Countless social media reports of an invasion underway. It remains unclear exactly what's happening in Central Africa, but we do have some footage from the scene. Also getting eyewitness reports of strange robots oh, designed for combat. We were caught by surprise. Oh, snap. The world was caught by surprise. Omnics were attacking everywhere. It seemed like every country was hit from every direction all at once. What a disaster. We didn't know it then. But one of the God programs, originally designed to help humanity, had hijacked Omnica's production lines to build warbots of its own design. They called it Anubis. It was built to maintain Anubis. ecological balance of all things. Oh, that is cool. For conservation. Its goals could not be achieved without the end of humanity. And it used us to carry out its plan. Jeez. 
forces across the world were able to mount a real defense. The best of the best joined their special strike team. I was getting tense. Overwatch. Oh, that is cool. It was a brilliant decision to recruit Dr. What an entrance. Who knew more about Omnix than she did? Dr. Leo. Those first victories shows the world. Torborn, Anna, young Anna, the cool Super Anna. Fighting was joined by a whole really army. cool. Of course, recruits like me were always amazed by what the core team could do. Arisa bots. Overwatch had the impossible objective of winning the war. And sometimes, oh, Reaper Gabriel actually pull it off. Anubis didn't sleep, didn't feel fear, and didn't feel despair. What an entrance! But it also couldn't feel hope. That was what Overwatch gave us. And even then, we had to wonder. If hope was going to be enough. Okay, okay, okay. Damn, that was a uh, not some cheap throwaway side thing. Well, Overwatch has always been good at making stories. Easy A. Excellent video.